I picked biological sciences due to the flexibility and the kind of the wide range of options I had when coming into the course. Going from sixth form to university, it was a little bit overwhelming trying to decide what I wanted to do for the next three years, but biological sciences gave me the option to try lots of different things across lots of fields. And now kind of later on in my degree, I've really figured out the area that I enjoy. The reason I chose biomedical science here was because as a child, I've always been interested in the molecular impacts of small changes and how they affect the bigger picture. The university here showed a lot of variety in its courses, especially with biomedical science and the variety of modules it taught, ranging from physiology, but all the way to stem cells and advanced developmental biology. I decided to study biochemistry at Sheffield because I know it's one of the leading UK universities in this area. So I know the lecturers teaching me are experts in their field. If there's anything I don't understand, I can get a thorough explanation about it. In the School of Biosciences, you can study one of four degrees. There's biological sciences, biochemistry, biomedical science, and zoology. It means we have a really kind of diverse student group, which can really help you when you're learning new skills, as you can just rely on your peers to help you through. The course also gives you lots of opportunities for practical learning. So I've done labs, field trips, um, we've had opportunities to do like scientific drawing, all things that were really, really interesting and exciting for me at the time. And now I've done it all, I've been really, really valuable to my education. Also, the fact that Sheffield is in the Russell Group assured me that the university would have the appropriate teaching and facilities to support my learning throughout my degree. So today I'm here in the Hicks building for my microbiology lecture and then straight after we're heading to Perak 1 for our laboratory which is associated with this lecture today. From the start of your first year you're going to have 15 to 20 hours of contact time in a week. No matter which bioscience you come here to study, every student in the biosciences will be taking the same modules up until the end of first semester. And this will give you the great foundational knowledge that you'll need for the rest of your degree. One of the good things about the uni is that each lecture module will come with one or two associated practicals. This is so that students who've understood the theory can also carry out the practicals in a hands-on manner. So obviously the biosciences is a really practical subject. You'll be spending each week about six hours in the lab. I'm in the microbiology lab right now, and we've been looking at quorum sensing and what systems are under control of quorum sensing in serratia bacteria. Teaching happens in the Perak labs, and these are purpose-built for teaching and are very well equipped. They contain things like spectrometers, uh, gel electrophoresis, and also PCR machines. Anything a lab scientist would need would be in these labs. Throughout your degree, you'll learn a lot of experimental techniques, from the very basic ones like using a microscope and pipette, all the way to the more complex ones like using a PCR machines and committing a cell transformation. From my experience, my favorite one has been doing a DNA spin down, where we collect the DNA from cells and use this to isolate specific genes that we want. So for me, my favorite part about being in the labs is the fact that it gives you the opportunity to really understand what you're learning. It's very different to learning something in a lecture as you can see the results of your experiment right in front of you. So today we're in the Rivlin Valley on a field trip. So about 30 minutes away from campus, you can get the bus or you can walk. This is kind of showing the more practical side of your course. You'll obviously be learning things in lectures, but this will be putting those skills into use in real life. So depending on the modules that you're taking, you could be out here multiple times a semester, either in the Peak District, on the university ground, or maybe even further afield as well. So we are doing some invertebrate sampling at the moment, so we're, we're collecting uh, little invertebrates that are stuck to rocks and that are flowing through the river, and we're looking at the diversity of different invertebrates in the river to assess water pollution uh, along this river. What's been your favourite bit about your fieldwork today? Uh, one of the most interesting parts about it is I'm going to be actually examining uh, that data that we got, uh, because we collect it ourselves and then we also analyse it ourselves, so yeah. we get to connect uh, the parts of it that are in the field with the actual theory and the stuff that we learn in class. What are we doing right here? So over here we have a bunch of the samples that we've got along the riverbed mm -hmm. and we're basically looking at what kind of creatures and invertebrates that we have got and over here we can already see like the earthworm and if we just look through over here there should be a couple mayflies there's, oh, so yep, that's a mayfly. Ah, oh, okay. So how does this kind of link to what you're doing in your lectures? So during our lectures, we already have a little bit of prior knowledge of what we are going to be looking for and the various creatures that we would be like out here in the field and actually yeah. looking at. 
now that we're actually out here, we get to get some hands-on experience, which is really nice. In a theater, we're in like a very safe environment, and out here, we actually get to experience things hands-on, and it's just lots of fun. So in your second and third year, you'll also have the opportunity to do some field trips as well. So these will involve you doing your own original research alongside other students and academic staff. You can either go really far afield, like Borneo, Sweden or Portugal, or stay slightly closer to home like Anglesey or the Peak District. Today we're at the Julia Garnham Centre, which is an NHS badge genomics facility located right here on campus. Here, any bioscience student from any discipline has the opportunity to get work experience. So students here work in partnership with scientists from Sheffield Children's NHS Foundation Trust, and they learn to diagnose genetic disorders like cancer and other rare diseases. So today I'm gonna to be joined by Kira, who's been volunteering at the centre alongside her biochemistry degree. So Kira, how long have you been volunteering here in the Julia Garnham Centre? Um, I started at the beginning of my second year, so I've been volunteering here for about a year now, um, on average about three hours a week. So when you're in the facility, what do you usually do? What does it look like for you? Um, so usually what I'm doing is I'm taking real patient samples um, and taking mm -hmm. variants from those samples and analyzing them uh, to see if they have variants that could likely be causing uh, cancer or rare genetic disease. What would you say is your favorite part about working here then? Um, I think the real clinical impact, um, I'm able to see that uh, the variants that I'm analyzing are going back to make differences in patients' lives. For you, what do you feel like you've gotten out of like working here at the Julia Garnham Center? How would you sell it to somebody who's maybe interested in trying that for themselves? I think it's been really instrumental uh, to kind of the learning outside of my degree. Um, I've gotten professional competency um, mm -hmm. in variant analysis um, with the ACGS guidelines. Um, and so that's a professional competency from the NHS um, for a first check by a scientist for a variant. Um, and so when I'm applying to a job in the NHS later, um, that's something that I can put on my CV. It's a skill that I already have. As a biomedical science student at the University of Sheffield, we're taught anatomy the same way as undergraduate medical students. This enables us to have a strong foundation in the structure and function of our bodies, enabling better understanding of health and disease. The reason I chose to study anatomy in this lab was due to the high-tech equipment they have. The anatomarch tables are a virtual dissection tool which enables us to study specific organs, view blood flow, and even see different parts of the body depending on what we want to look at. It's a very intuitive user interface, allowing clear and high quality imaging to be presented to students. We also have access to state-of-the-art one hog and plastinated models. They show great detail, both in the coloration, the spatial distortion, and the texture of what we're holding. One of the highlights of the course is that all biosciences students get to do a final extended project in their third year. This could be in a lab or in the field, like the Peak District National Park. Depending on the course that you take, you could be working in the NHS, teaching science in schools, or even focus on science communication. The different projects are based on the expertise of our different academic staff, which means you've been taught by experts in the field. But you won't be going into your project blind. We've been working on these skills in first year, second year, and now we're in our third year, we're really well practiced. This means that we can really focus our skills on what our questions are and our hypothesis, rather than our lab technique, which we've already done a lot of. In my project, I've been looking at whether crop antiquity, which means when the crop was first domesticated, has any relation to modern day crop yield. We're hoping to find that there will be some kind of correlation between an age of a crop and how much it produces, but we're still in the process of finding that out. So today, we're having a group meeting. We've been going through some research papers and collecting and making our own database so that later down the line, we can do some data analysis and really try and find some of our results. The University of Sheffield has over 300 societies and clubs from departmental societies, interest societies and obviously sports clubs. Today we're here with APS which stands for the Animal and Plant Science Society. So this is a departmental society that mainly represents biological sciences and zoology. However we have lots of members from all over the university because this is kind of a main place for people that enjoy nature or want to get outdoors. For me, I joined in my first year, so I've been a general member. Last year I joined the committee and was treasurer, and this year I'm president. Now I'm here with Ellie, so she is our charities and volunteering officer with APS. So, where are we today? Healy City Farm, it's a charity in Sheffield. And what do you do whilst you're here? Uh, it's volunteering, it's on a weekly basis. It's like 
doing odd jobs around the farm, so refurbishing different areas. We're currently refurbishing the wildlife pond uh, with blue influences, which is a great way of getting involved in conservation science in a relaxed, informal way. And what's your favourite bit about being here? I love all the animals, I love being outdoors, uh, and I like speaking to all the other volunteers. Do you ever get to hold the animals? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> we often see the goats, um, we feed them, uh, I've seen the guinea pigs, uh, I've held a chicken, it's great. APS run a really wide range of activities, from supporting your academics through revision sessions and alumni talks, to taking you out on volunteering days which give you an opportunity to build some extra kind of skills away from the degree. As well as that, there are also opportunities to get out in Sheffield. APS will take you in and around the city and explore places that you may not have been before. One of the other really good things about the society as well is that you can have the opportunity to go out into the peaks. So we'll do monthly hikes and that will either be short walks around Sheffield and close by or multi-day hikes into the Peak District itself. I personally have really enjoyed being an APS member as I've found that it's been a great way to really meet and connect with people on my course and make some lifelong friends. My favourite part of my course is the fact that biochemistry isn't just a bioscience, but it's also a chemical one. So you get enough knowledge of chemistry to fully understand the concepts that you're learning. One thing that I've really enjoyed learning about was metabolism and specifically the role of the Krebs cycle in the development of cancer. One of my favourite parts about the degree I do is the team projects we have. These are around once or twice every semester and these really help me build my skills both as a scientist in doing what we're doing, whether it be a project or analysing data or creating a poster, but also my soft skills, which I'll need no matter what I do, including communication, teamwork and coordination. One of my favourite parts about the course is being able to get out, particularly into the Peak District, considering how close we are. Not only am I kind of really applying the knowledge that I've learned in a practical space, but also when you're with researchers and other students, you can really learn about the environment that we're in. So I've learned about some of the species that we find in the Peak District, kind of some of the natural formations, and having the opportunity to really learn about what we have is really valuable. 